Oh, there you are. I see. You are here. Uh, this is a video about um, something. What was I going to talk about? Oh, I remember. Yeah. It's, it's about this guy here. His name was Benjamin Franklin. He had something interesting to say once. He said, you can be told how to do something, but that's not very good. The best thing is for you to do it. If you don't do it, these fingers have got to be trained. These are fingers and they, they, you know, they don't do anything unless you train them. Like you play a piano, you tie a shoelace bow. They've got to be trained before they work. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to follow Benjamin Franklin's rules and tell you how to do it, but you, in turn, have got to do it. Train your fingers. So now, what we're going to do is pretend like my leg is a shoe, and we're going to make our shoelaces come out around my leg like they're on a shoe. So once we do that, we'll bring them out like that. We'll have two laces, one in the left hand here and one in the right hand here. The left hand one we're going to lay on across the shoe like that. The other in our right hand we're going to lay over the top. We lay it over the top of the one we laid down. This was the left hand one. This is the right hand one. We lay it over the top. But we're going to tuck it in. We've got to tuck it under so we can make a knot. And we pull this out, pull all the string out, and then we make a knot like that. See? Now we've made a knot. And we can make it as tight as we want, but you want to leave it a little loose so your shoe doesn't get too tight. But there's our first knot. And if it's done right, this one will come up here and go under there and come down here. And the one on the left side will come over, under, and up. So the left one is going up. The right one that was in our right hand is going down. Okay? Now, we're going to make the bows. This is the fun part. We make our first bow like that. There's our first bow. That's it. But we're going to take this other lace that's here going down the bottom and put it over the top of that bow. Like that. See, we're just going to lay it over the top like that. Now we've got to make our second bow. How are we going to do that? Well, let's tuck it in this hole here. See where my thumb is? There's a hole right there. We're going to tuck it in there and force it through that hole like this so that we have, guess what? Another bow forming. So now all we have to do is hold on to this one tight and grab this other bow here and pull. Pull tight. Like that. And there you have your bow. And this is what it'll look like if you've done it right. You'll see a rope here and a rope here go down there. And you'll see a rope go across the top like that. And this bow is really good because if you pull on it, it won't come undone. Some bows you pull on and they come undone. But this one is what they call a square knot bow. And so it will not come undone easily. Of course, you have to have shoelaces that aren't really slippery. But if it's on a good shoelace and you've done the knot just right, this is what will happen. 